TIFU by not apologizing to our farmer neighbors and, likely, ruining my parents' retirement home. I tried to get advice on this and stick to my principles by not offering an apology when not in the wrong, but I think it's become clear that I food and I could have prevented this with a better attitude. I, 18F, live with my parents, and we moved last year away from a big city to a cheaper more rural community in the Midwest, since my dad's retired now and money goes further here, to finish up my last year of high school. We have by far the smallest lot out here, but most of our, neighbors, are farmers with quite a bit of land. I don't feel like I fit in well with the neighbors and have had some arguments with some of them and their kids. They're up early making noise every morning with farm machinery, yelled at me for listening to rap music loud in the car late at night, it was only nine or so, with a friend from high school, and most recently they let one of their cows get into our yard when it was grazing while I was out in the backyard, and I gave them a dirty look and stood there while they tried to get it back. Recently I guess he talked to my dad and gave him some sort of redneck, we don't take kindly, speech about my, behavior, and that wasn't how things operated round these parts, and for me to apologize. So my dad asked me to, but I refused, because I think they're in the wrong towards me. I saw him out back one day and he asked me if I had anything to say about my attitude, and I said, I haven't done anything wrong to you, I just think you should respect other people's property boundaries. So he said, alright, have it your way, and walked off. Well, dad and I left town for spring break, but when we came back we noticed construction was heavily underway, almost complete, on a large shed structure right up against the property line, maybe 20 feet from our house. My mum asked a woman who lives a bit further down if they knew what it was about, and they said, oh, yeah. Guess the word is that they've had some trouble with your daughter and they've made the decision to put in a pig barn. My parents freaked out, asked around and heard this was a known tactic to drive out unwanted neighbors and very effective. Dot dad called the city and asked about odor nuisance laws and what can be done, but was told the area is zoned agricultural and that it was more of an honor system thing that farmers wouldn't do that without more land, but technically he was. Allowed to have up to 200 pigs on the property, he asked the neighbor if he would reconsider but he said that the order of pigs is already scheduled and his mind was made up. Now my dad is furious with me, and frantic about what to do. At first I told him to just ignore it and let them do what they're gonna do, but from the people I've talked to online they're saying that's probably not going to be a possibility for us. I thought he was overreacting at first but now I'm facing the prospect that I really did crash the value of their property for good and that we're all about to be very miserable. They finished construction on the barn so I guess the moment of truth is coming. TL, DR provoked a farmer neighbor in this agriculturally zoned area, about to get 200 new onking neighbors. Ew, I have a strong stomach but pig stench is feet away, with summer coming up. You're all gonna be miserable. Something tells me there's more to this story than loud music at 9pm once in a nasty. Story for people who want to see the judgments. You'd be surprised how petty small town people can be. Yeah, so you just tanked your family's generational wealth and also you were obnoxious lol. You did. You went to a place where you were the new kid on the block and acted like a rude city person. You could have helped them with the cow instead of giving them dirty looks. It's not even your property so who are you to lecture them about boundaries? You are living in your parents and refused to apologize to the neighbors? It's a bit insufferable in the behavior department. You come across as very selfish and aren't revving up their farm machinery early in the morning for the fun of it, they have to get an early start to have any chance of completing their work for the day. Then, you play loud music, which is just a choice, later in the evening which impacts them getting sleep before they get up early in the morning yet again. Finally, you blame them for, letting, their cow in your yard, when the last thing they want is to have more work in going to get this cow but, believe it or not, huge f asterisk asterisk ing animals can sometimes have minds of their own and manage to get somewhere they are not supposed to feel bad for your dad, because the worst fear of people like these farmers is that people move to an area with a certain lifestyle then expect that area to change to what they are used to. It isn't his fault, but he brought a daughter who doesn't get it that it is unrealistic to move to a home surrounded by farms and not expect there to be farming going on. No, I think to take it this far up definitely went farther than she's leading on. Second this, unless the neighbors are vindictive as a they wouldn't spend tens of thousands of dollars just over one team being rude. A much cheaper alternative would have been spreading their cow manure right along the property line. The smell isn't as terrible, but would still get the point across and require much less effort as well. Both times this really sounded like the plot for an 80s teen movie where you're made to dislike the pretentious teen and are glad when they get their comeuppance. I love the, 
How dare they practice their livelihood at the times they need to when it bothers me so much, because it is definitely the same as me blasting music to entertain myself when they have to sleep after some of the hardest most important work on. I would tend to agree here. Op is most likely not telling the entire story, but even the story told as it shows a rather bratty city slicker side and no understanding of small farm town get out of their pasture because fences break and electric fence batteries run dry. If you see a loose cow in your yard, you inform your farm neighbor and help them move the cow from your yard back into its or up at first light to make use of as much daylight to do farm things, feed livestock, milk cows, harvest crops, etc. It includes using heavy machinery. Get used to it, op. Also, get used to being stuck on a major roadway behind a combine doing 15 miles per hour for miles in it. Taking up of the lane and a car with trailer following with additional combine equipment that you just can't safely pass. All the manure tanker trucks stinking up the place and making roadways slick throughout the rap music. I'd not be surprised if the loud rap music at 9 p.m. at night caused some livestock issues, like sheep jumping a fence in panic or whatnot, or just interrupted the farmer in his post-dinner nap. Op is going to get a lesson in how bad pigs can stink. Grin, they are just a tad worse than a chicken or turkey co-op being vented several times a day, but not as bad as a protein plant a quarter mile away from your house and no wind to move the smell away. Tongue out. She initially said she had some arguments with them and their kids. So yeah, she's leaving out a lot of details. Also, wow, so rude of them to operate their farm machinery early in the day. What a spoiled brat! If this is actually a true story, that neighbor has had it with her. Adding pigs like that is a commitment. They were going to do it anyway. Probably planned a pig pen. Just decided to put it there out of spite. Probably a off the big city folks are retiring to their neighborhood. Maybe Op's family got the land instead of him. Why not go be the adult they wanted you to be and go up to the neighbors and ask for a conversation? Rural life is a largely based on old school values, which include handshakes and honest chats. If I'm you, I walk over with a peace offering and say that you've been having a hard time adjusting to a new lifestyle, and regardless of their decision on the pig farm, you're sorry and hope you can work toward mending the relationship to at least be coexisting neighbors. It takes humility to apologize, and it would show a sign of respect to do this. Don't make excuses. Just get to the point. If you do this, absolutely. Do not qualify the apology with, "Well, I didn't because you were annoying my two cents." Hey, op. Don't like farm equipment. How attached are you to IDK eating every day? Yeah, this reads to me like the neighbors were already looking for a fight because of the situation. I know plenty of good old boys that have done this or worse just because of their own preconceived notions. TBF, I 100% think you can't move to the farm and get mad at the farm equipment. That's on you. And yes, farmers go to sleep early because they get up early. And music echoes like a in pasture land. This just seems like ignorance. They could have handled it better, and Op should have been more aware. Op is also young, so lesson learned. Dot. As for the apology, that was a power play. That a good country boy would have had the self-respect to sit down and explain the process and poorly by all involved. As someone who lived briefly on a cattle ranch, I promise they didn't let their cows on your land, and were equally annoyed their cows got out. My thoughts also moves a teenager in their last year of high school away from their friends to a completely different doesn't expect some pretty significant behavioral and attitude adjustment struggles. I've been in Op's position, had to move as a teenager into a starkly different environment and new school due to financial reasons, and being the new kid is not easy. Teenagers are mean. This exact story was posted about a week or two ago in AITA, if I remember correctly. Everyone called out Op as wrong and how she has now ruined her families. And Op even commented to people, doubling down on her childish and immature behavior. At this point, either Op is finally starting to feel bad, or this is a copy paste for a karma farm. All right, you sound very similar to some neighbors we had a few years ago, and I don't believe you're telling the whole story. They're trying to get you to leave because everyone there most likely has had enough of your. You move somewhere. You're supposed to be respectful to the people and lifestyle they live, and I'm not saying you have to change the way you live. Just respect the people already living there. If you can't do that, 
why should they show any respect for you? I've lived in the country my whole life but don't really follow the country lifestyle. I don't talk to my neighbors at all and barely know them, but because I don't cause problems they leave me be and in return I leave them alone cheeky smiley face. Well, at least this is a proper foo story rather than, today something bad happened to you done foo. This has some updated details, I think it's op realizing the error. Also, she thinks they, let, a cow onto their property? Like they knew it would happen? If a cow got out, they had to repair a fence because it damaged it somewhere. But instead op decided to be in about it? Probably one of the most immature high school seniors I've heard of, and that's saying something. So proving you are a bigger kid than a kid passes for adulting in that neighborhood? I could see a someone like that over for a few weeks, but this is too petty. The kid is in high school, will likely a for college and they are a the parents, not the kid. While I mostly folk need to be a tad more open live in middle of nowhere and I rent. A while back the neighbors made a ruckus because I has some black metal scarecrows on my balcony, storing them a bit for a friend. Said it was bad luck and other BS. Made a town-wide fuss about it's my balcony, it's not illegal, go f get disturbing agriculture. But people being a for no good reason I don't digest well. Someone's gotta tell them about how sick pigs will often manage to get out and look for some place to die. Instinct I guess. So they head for your overgrown areas, or behind your shed where you can't see them, under your house, they'll root right through boards to get under there. Fun times after a few days of hot sunny me how I she done effed up. This is the post for those curious like me I, 18F, live with my parents, and we moved last year away from a big city to a cheaper more rural community in the Midwest, since my dad's retired now and money goes further here, to finish up my last year of high school. We have by far the smallest lot out here, but most of our, neighbors, are farmers with quite a bit of don't feel like I fit in well with the neighbors and have had some arguments with some of them and their kids. They're up early making noise every morning with farm machinery, yelled at me for listening to rap music loud in the car late at night, it was only 9. Or sir, with a friend from high school, and most recently they let one of their cows get into our yard when it was grazing while I was out in the backyard, and I gave them a dirty look and stood there while they tried to get it I guess he talked to my dad and gave him some sort of redneck, we don't take kindly, speech about my, behavior, and that wasn't how things operated round these parts, and for me to my dad asked me to, but I refused, because I think they're in the wrong towards me. I saw him out back one day and he asked me if I had anything to say about my attitude, and I said, I haven't done anything wrong to you, I just think you should respect other people's property so he said, all right, have it your way, and walked and I left town for spring break, but when we came back we noticed construction was heavily underway, almost complete, on a large shed structure right up against the property line, maybe 20 feet from our mom asked a woman who lives a bit further down if they knew what it was about, and they said, oh, the word is that they've had some trouble with your daughter and they've made the decision to put in a pig parents freaked out, asked around and heard this was a known tactic to drive out unwanted neighbors and very called the city and asked about odor nuisance laws and what can be done, but was told the area is, zoned agricultural, and that it was more of an, honor system, thing that farmers wouldn't do that without more land, but technically he was allowed to have up to 200 pigs on the ask the neighbor if he would reconsider but he said that the order of pigs is already scheduled and his mind was made my dad is furious with me, and frantic about what to do, but I don't think it's my fault. I told him to just ignore it and just try to deal with it. They already have plenty of cows and horses. A barn of pigs is just one more addition, it's not going to drive you out of your he's acting like he's going to have to sell the house for one half the price, and it's all my wouldn't apologize to annoying farmer neighbors, now they're building a pig barn against our property line, dad thinks world is ending and it's my fault. 